Hello YouTube, Rocky3 here, back with another kickin' action figure review. Today's review is over the DC Universe Classics Ultraman from the Crime Syndicate box set. Yeah, I know, uh, <laughs> when I say Ultraman, I actually usually think of something along the lines of Japanese Ultraman, you know? This is the Ultract Ultraman Max. Let's see. But, uh, this is DC Comics Ultraman, so sometimes, like, when I'm having dirty discussions with my friends, they'll get confused on who I'm talking about, because I like both characters. But I picked this guy up at Dragon Con Loose for a great price. The guy gave it to me, along with this Loki, this Walmart exclusive Loki, for, like, 30 bucks together, which I thought was a fine price. I mean, this Loki's, like, 30 in package now, isn't it? And... This guy was the only crime syndicate member I wanted, so I, I thought that was a fine deal. Well, it was actually like $28. It wasn't exactly 30 but whatever. I'm really good at money specifics. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Ultraman. I got him loose because I'm not really interested in the box set itself, just the Ultraman and the Owlman. So I got to find the Owlman loose, and then, and then I'll be set. So, Ultraman. Let's check him out now. So as you guys know, he's an alternate dimension Superman. I've seen him in lots of things. He's in the uh, Crisis on Two Earths movie, Final Crisis graphic novel. He had a pretty decent role. But, um, he looks a lot like Superman. He's got the red cape, blue outfit, but he doesn't have his, his panties down here or anything. He actually has these silver rivet-like things also on his elbows. There's blue on the legs. And there's his Ultraman symbol. Looks fine. And he's got a pretty decent head sculpt. Nice Italian head sculpt. <laughs> yep. But, uh... The paint's all good. I mean, there's no scuffing on him or anywhere. I got him in great condition. No scuffing. Yeah. All the lines are done well. There's no bleeding anywhere. Detail on the hair looks great. Really just a good-looking figure. No problems with it at all. And uh, now that that's out of the way, how about some articulation? Got up and down in the arms, forward and back. You got a bicep rotation, elbow bend, and then you got some wrist rotation. Oh, huh, sorry, that was blocked. And the head looks up a bit, down a bit, side to side. You got that old ab crunch. You got the waist articulation. In and out on the leg, forward and back on the leg. You got a thigh swivel, knee bend, and up and down on the foot, pickles. So yeah, that's that. And now how about we get into some size comparisons. Alright, here he is with some other Superman-based figures. Here he is with my Toys R Us exclusive Supergirl from the 2-pack of Lex Luthor. And I think they scale up fine. She's, she's small enough to be a convincing girl her age next to him. So I think that works out fine. Then here he is next to the Sinestro Corps Cyborg Superman, who I also got from the same vendor. 14 bucks. Yeah. Pretty good. Also, a trick at Dragon Con is, if you buy something from a vendor and then go back, they might remember you and give you a better price. Conventions are just cool like that with their vendors. Happened to me Dragon Con, like, every year, G-Fest. You know, I spend a lot of time with the vendors. I, I just, I love, I love the vendor rooms. Just looking at the stuff is cool. But I think they scale up well together, too. I mean, we got a bit of extra bulk on this guy, but you know he's a cyborg, so... What you gonna do? But, um... Yeah, you know, they look pretty cool. Now I gotta slide this guy back into my lantern display, because... I pulled him, he's displayed with my lanterns in, like, this cubby cube thing. Ah, so hard to get some of the back ones out. Alright, folks, here he is with some other figures. Here we have the DC Direct Hawk from Brightest Day. I actually really dig this DC Direct figure. And, uh, I would show him next to another Superman related figure, but you know, I just showed him next to a bunch of Superman related figures, and also my DC Direct Superman figures are kind of in the back of a display and kind of hard to get to, so. Ugh. But yeah, they don't really scale up well together at all. Hawk's way too big. He's just, this guy here is just not going to scale up well with DC Directs like this one. Sorry. But uh, you can get this guy from mycomicsplus.net. That's where I got mine. Really awesome. Really great. Coupon code in the description. 
just check it out. Link below too. Awesome, awesome site. But uh, here we have the Walmart exclusive Movie Masters Jim Gordon. And I'm um, not really sure what to think with him. I mean, normally Movie Masters don't really scale up well with these guys. DC Universe Classics and Movie Masters just don't scale up well together, even though they're both made by Mattel. Probably just a licensing thing. But uh, the thing is, Jim Gordon might be fine because he's not a superhero. He doesn't have superpowers or anything. And Ultraman is, you know, big. He's super buff, very imposing, evil. I think you just might be able to make it work. But just of Jim Gordon. See, I had him was like, let me grab another one. Ugh. There. My Batman cubby's not too crowded. <laughs> so, uh, Jim Gordon, like, see, with Bane, might not scale up too well, because Bane's also big and imposing, but see, it might just not fit as well. So I guess he really doesn't scale up well with Movie Masters, but maybe you could make him work with Jim Gordon. I don't know. I guess it's the coat that makes Jim Gordon just look a little bigger or something. But hey, whatever. The point is, he's mostly going to scale up with Universe Classics, All-Stars, and Signatures, and other things like that. So all in all, what do I think of the DC Universe Classics Ultraman figure? Well, I wish I could give you a rating for the set as a whole, but obviously, this is the only guy I have, so I'm really just rating him. But detail and stuff's fine. I mean, there's not much detail you need with this guy. And he has all that's necessary. I mean, the articulation works well. He scales up well with other DC Universe classics, which is what he's supposed to scale up well with, so I guess it's fine that he doesn't scale up well with Movie Masters or DC Directs. And, um, all in all, he's just he's just a nice figure to have. Like, if you're in the all the crises and stuff, then you're going to need this guy for your collection. You really are. So, um... I'm going to give this guy 4 out of 5 stars. I mean, it's true. I, I like this guy. He's, he's a very simple looking character, but that just means when they get it right, it's it's still right. It's still right. So, um, yeah, he's really, really cool. And for more DC Universe Classics, DC Directs, and Movie Masters, you can check out mycomicsplus.net. And as I said earlier... Use the coupon code in the description below. Get yourself 10% off of anything you get off the site. Anything off the site. Really, really spectacular. You can use it on Pokemon cards, action figures, comics, all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, that's it. Just head on down to the site and get yourself some stuff for a discount. So, you're welcome. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love your feedback. And uh, look at all the other links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, where we'll follow you back, action figure collecting, our second channel, all kinds of great, excellent stuff down there. And our second channel is where our action figure and comic book collection updates are now, and gaming updates and stuff, when we feel like having them. But, uh, yeah, that's really it. So, four out of five, pick them up if you want, and I'll see you guys later.